All right, it's a 1G pipe time here using the MIG welder. Um, gas metal arc welding, proper term, I guess. Uh, horizontally rolled. Our filler model is going to be ER70S-6, pretty standard MIG wire. Uh, 035 is going to be the diameter of it. Uh, let's just take a look at the joint here. It's going to be a two-pass weld. Uh, we're going to do no weave on the root, then we're going to weave the uh, cover right out. That's going to be it. So two passes on three-eighths inch thick pipe. Um, the way we're going to spin this, because we don't have a positioner just like with stick welding, we're going to take this, we're going to start here, we're going to weld up, finish, and on the root, we're going to roll it back and start with our finish. When you go to the cover, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to roll up this way for your cover, and we're going to finish into our first weld's start. Just washes in better, uh, makes it look better, and actually makes it stronger. So we're going to go out in the lab and start up the uh, 1G. All right, so we're about to start our uh, 1G pipe gas metal arc welding uh, pipe position. Uh, we're using 7525 for a shielding gas, uh, around 30 cubic feet per hour. We'll get on here to the machine. This is our voltage here, 17.4, and this is our wire feed. At, uh, 231 inches per minute. We're using a Miller Matic 252. So let's get to the roof. This is our pipe position, horizontally rolled. We're going to start right here, come up to here and finish. And then we're going to take this whole pipe and roll it. And we're going to do the same thing because we don't really have a positioner. And you can see these tacks here, I, I ground them down. With MIG, you don't get a lot of penetration, so you have to grind them down. It's kind of a pain, but it's, uh, it's the nature of the beast. It's not like stick where you can just jam your 6010 through it, so you, you really got to watch your preparation. That's the end of my my uh, first pass with the root. You can see I went over here and ground it out. It's really hard to get penetration here, so you have to grind out your starts and your stops, otherwise you'll, you'll have a little uh, pinhole there. And we'll leave one unground so you can kind of see what it looks like if you don't grind it when we look at the final root here.
just finished up our root came out pretty good um, we did two spots where we didn't grind out our starts and our stops where the heck is it if I could find it uh, right there's one you can see that didn't quite get through and right there's the other one and you can see that little spot where it didn't get through so we'll go on to our covers Right, we just finished our first cover pass, so what I'm going to do is start in the same spot we started the first one with, roll up and wash in to the start of the first well.
All right, so this is our covers. And you can see it's nice and convex, fill all the way. Good looking weld. Still a little warm. All right, that uh, concludes the old 1G pipe horizontally rolled position with uh, MIG welding. Get on to our 2G, then our 5G, then our 6G. Uh, thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld.